Hello, it's been a little while, hasn't it? Mostly because I've had a chest infection, I couldn't talk. Um, and this is going to be a bit croaky, I'm afraid. But I'm excited to say I'm on the book tour for um, a Maggie Mason called Blackpool's Daughter. Um, and this is the sort of book that should probably come with some kind of health warning because it's one of those roller coaster books. So, um, a mother and daughter on Guernsey at the outbreak of the war are separated, the daughters evacuated to Blackpool as it turns out and the mother then also leaves the island um, ends up in London and then sort of slowly makes her way north and um, so we have two parallel stories of, of various things that are happening but they both seem to be the sort of unluckiest people in the world and both have quite horrific I mean it's quite um, graphically uh, horrifying what happens um, not necessarily to them but to within their circles in on these two separate journeys that they're on um, so it, it's a very up and down book it's quite an emotional book um, it, bits of it are, are, are uncomfortable just because I think they're probably very real um, and I think those things probably did happen um, to it's beautifully researched I think um, it's very easy reading, you know, it's very well written, you kind of stream along quite quickly. Um, having said that, I do have to say it does have, um, I don't want to give the game away or give any spoilers because I don't think that's fair, but um, it does it, it does all resolve. So there is, um, you know, there is a, a positive ending, <clears throat> despite all this um, trauma is the only word for it really. And it's very evocative. Um, uh, you know, as a mum, I, you know, it made me think, would I have sent my children? Would I have had any choice? Um, would I have ever found them again? You know, it's a very um, emotional book. And it's also just about, you know, how um, I guess society's changed so much. You know, the notion of um, children out of wedlock and those sorts of things. And how the war impacted on, on families, on ordinary families. And of course, for some children, um, for one of the children that... And the daughter meets, you know, the evacuation is the best thing that ever happened to her. She was in a really unhappy um, home and actually, you know, it was a whole new life. So it's nice, it's really balanced. It, sh it sort of shows quite a range of um, perspectives on on the whole process and on the outcomes. Um, but, it's, you know, it's just pure drama, really, from beginning to end. You feel quite, I mean, as if I didn't have enough breathing problems anyway. It's sort of, you know, you feel quite breathless. I think because of that, if possible, I would recommend it, you know, you're reading it quite quickly because I think it's a fast paced book. You know, a couple of times I actually lost time. I, I didn't I couldn't work it out if I was in the next day or the next week because it, um, I was sort of reading it very quickly. But I think that works with it. I think if you just picked it up and read, you know, a chapter a week, I don't think you would get that same tension and drama because some of it is in the pace of, of it. Um, so um, it, I don't think there's anything that doesn't happen to this um, pair, uh, quite literally uh, everything, you know, there's there's fire and flood and, and, and famine, so um, it all goes on, but, um, but it, it's strangely believable nonetheless. So um, as I say, this is a Maggie Mason, she also writes as Mary Wood, um, a very prolific writer, and I would definitely happily read more of her stuff, it's, um, it's really nice fun and um quite intense you know when you want a bit of action <laughs> enjoy